G'day guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about managing tags inside of Microsoft Teams today. I think this is a really cool feature for education, particularly for larger teams, which might be for staff and faculty, uh, and also, also classroom teams as well, where you want to differentiate and very accurately tag who you want a message to go to. So uh, the documentation is here, how to manage teams and uh, tags inside of Microsoft Teams. I will uh, go through this and add it to the link in the blog, but you do need to make sure that it's turned on for starters um, within your organization through the Teams administration settings. So if I jump into Teams admin, uh, you go to all wide settings on the left and you will see tagging uh, sits here. So you do have a couple of options who can uh, set up tags. It's important to understand the differences here. Typically, you might only do it at team owners, um, but if you want to, you could extend it out to team members. So from a classroom perspective, that would mean your students can set up subgroups of tags inside of a specific team, which might be really helpful for project work. That's the one to think ahead in. Uh, you can also uh, choose to uh, pre-populate with some tags here. Uh, so we might add some more in here, like uh, the Tigers group, if you were going to be uh, creating a group based off uh, students, uh, the Tigers or the, um, the Triangles might be another one for primary school kind of aged groups. So once your settings are done, don't forget to scroll to the bottom, hit save. And then what does that look like inside of Teams itself? Uh, well, so what I'm going to do here is jump into a particular team. Uh, let's go into physical science. And here you can actually manage your tags, right? So this is pretty handy. I can see that I have three uh, in here, uh, two tags in here already that I can reference. I'm going to create a new tag uh, specifically uh, inside of my team here. I'm going to call it the Tigers. And I'm going to add my users Adele. George, sorry, George and uh, Elf as well. All right, so I've created a tag inside here now called the Tigers. So what that would mean uh, is if I shrink that down, I have my account on the top left, Sam. Here's Elf over here. Uh, here's Adele down the bottom left and George is on the bottom right. So if I was inside here now, I could say, um, this is a really cool resource. Check it out, Tigers. And as I start to type Tigers, it tells me I have three people who are included in this tag. Uh, and when I hit go, that will be pushed out to my three users over here. So we see the little pop-up notifications all occur that Sam McNeil has tagged you. And we can all see the, uh, the mention here. So that's a pretty cool way, if I go to my activity, we can see that in what team and what channel I was tagged here. Uh, a really helpful way for teachers to be able to differenti differentiate delivering contact uh, material for individual groups inside of their class. Uh, often streamed on ability, it might be streamed based off project work, uh, but also from a teaching perspective, if this was a staff-wide team and the principal wanted to call out uh, particular content, then they could do that. So another really um, pertinent example perhaps might be uh, the ability to create one called um, Heads of Department, as I have done here. So a Head of Department might just want to tag their particular department members inside of a wider chat um, there. The cool part, you can immediately take it to a chat as well and you're now messaging with that group of users that you've set up as a particular tag. So tags inside of Microsoft Teams, I think there's a heap of value here. I'm sure you'll come up with some really cool work scenarios as well for how this could be used inside of your um, educational institution and would love to hear how you do it in the comments.